following contest is an Iron Woman match and is for the NXT Women's Championship. Introducing the champion, she is the NXT Women's Champion, Ace Thunder. The NXT Women's Championship match is coming up next. And these women aren't just among the top competitors in NXT right now, they're also the future of sports entertainment. It's all about the NXT Women's Championship. Everyone who has held that title has gone on to create massive waves in sports entertainment. There are no eyes to the future right now, Cole. These ladies have only one thing in mind, and that's being the next NXT Women's Champion. Guys, in Red's short reign as NXT Women's Champion, she's already successfully defended her championship on several occasions, but never in a match like this. Putting her title on the line in an Iron Woman match is essentially like defending it multiple times in one night with no break in between. It can be extremely taxing, to say the least. Kind of like having to do commentary with you, Saxton. Stringing together some big moves here. She's able to turn it on at will. Oh, my God. Did you see that height? The challenger eating up some damage. From what I'm told, she trained harder than ever for this match. But what this shows right here is something I've long suspected. There's just no way to prepare yourself for the rigors of an Iron Man match. The champion into the cover! For the championship! She's got a long way to go before she should be thinking about a pinfall victory here. Smart, attacking the arm. <laughs> Candice LeRae with a beautiful counter. Running clothesline. Stomping, ouch. Wow, she turned that one around. Display of strength with the suplex. Byron, I have to believe that Candice's opponent will need to do all she can to keep her tied to the mat, to keep the daredevil in LeRae at bay. Yeah, Michael, it might be best to counter LeRae's high flying style with mat based wrestling and submission holds. Bringing it back into the ring. She ducks out of the way there. And scissors Ooh, take that. Oh, oh. Very nice. Harsh impact. Byron, earlier you used the term high flyer to describe Candace. The she returns the favor there. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Look at this power. Oh. Wendy Richter, Trish Stratus, Sherry Martell, Lita. So many great Hall of Famers help make the Women's Championship the prestigious prize it is today. Eludes the attack. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand.
Not looking good right now. Wasn't expecting that. And now that one's countered. That was impressive, Michael. Don't be mistaken. She's sending a message with a takedown like that. Incredible agility. DDT. The challenger being outclassed here. She's tough, but maybe not tough enough to get the win here. to the outside. Here she comes. Corner post baseball slide. Another one bites the dust to the champ. I'm not sure Candace is going to be able to continue. Here's the pin. Title on the line. And the defending champion gets an early fall. Guys, I've talked with superstars who've competed in Iron Man matches, and each and every one of them said that there's almost no preparing for the grueling nature of this contest. What an exploder! She's taking charge here. The great ones always explode when they have the chance. somehow one step ahead of each other. For the win to retain the championship! Kick out of two rope. That may have been a slow count. The size of this girl's heart is simply immeasurable. She's really taking it to her core here. And you can't argue with the results. Mouth relentless. And a 
impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. What a slam! Impactful. Will jar your spine. your way free. Cole, there may be no beating her here tonight. And scissors. Ooh, take it. Oh, very nice. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Oh my god. Oh, you see that height? The challenger's hopes are slipping away. Yeah, this could be the end of the road for her. The champ to the top turnbuckle. From the top. 
Really focusing on the torso here. An attack like this will really lead the champion into the cover. Oh, no, oh, he keeps kicking out. Still in it. She saved something for later. This one on one match. That may have been one of the most dominant performances I've seen in a very long time. I'd like to think we just saw one of the greatest title matches in a very long time. I hope you enjoyed it, folks. So, I'm not really going to talk about my time in NXT. Overall, it was great, but I don't want to give Rhea Ripley the attention after what she did. She could have ended my career before it even started. I still think you should have changed your name to Red Eye after that. And think of the marketing opportunities for airlines and allergy medicine that would have come your way. You left a lot of money on the table. Can you focus on our speech instead of bringing up bad ideas from the past? Bad ideas? There's another tie-in you missed out on. Please come in and save me from my idiot best friend. Hey, soon-to-be Hall of Famers. It's my old tag partner. That didn't last very long, did it? Unfortunately, no. I just wanted to say that I am so excited and honored to induct you tonight. We wouldn't want anyone else to do it. I mean, Undertaker would have been pretty cool. Or President Rock. He actually texted us today. Check it out. Can you please stop insulting Rhonda before she snaps your arm off? It's fine. Oh, now I can't find the text. Please tell me I didn't accidentally delete it. Rhonda's the perfect person to induct us. She and I had some intense battles when I first got into WWE. Especially that Money in the Bank match with the arm bar on top of the ladder. I am definitely going to mention that tonight. And I have to tell that story about Trey's first night on Raw. That was crazy. Do you think messages from the president self-destruct? Like, for security reasons? I don't know about that. Oh, I almost forgot. This was on your door. See you out there soon. What is it? It's a note from my parents. You haven't talked to them in years. No, my real parents. It says they're gonna be at the Hall of Fame ceremony tonight. Wow, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. Between never hearing from them again after they sent me that letter in high school and then all those times I left tickets for them and they didn't show, I, I'd given up hope. But now I'm finally gonna meet my actual real parents. This is so cool. Are you sure it's not some kind of misunderstanding? It has to be them. Look, they signed it the same way they signed the letter I got in high school. This really isn't the best time, but maybe we should talk about this whole thing with your birth parents. No, you can't do this. What's there to talk about? They must have finally seen me on TV and tracked me down, which is all thanks to you. You're the one who encouraged my big debut on Raw, remember? That's like your third plate. Are you sure you don't have a tapeworm? It's just the food here at Raw is so much better than what I'm used to at NXT. Do you try these black beans? They really nailed the seasoning. I'm good. Don't want mm. a case of the bean cramps during my Money in the Bank qualifying match tonight against Ronda Rousey. Mm. You're lost. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are reasons other than the food that I'd like to join you here on Raw. It's been kind of weird in NXT by myself. Well, whenever you're done stuffing your face, it wouldn't hurt if you made the rounds mm. here and introduced yourself. Never know what could happen. You know what? That's a great idea. I'll do that right now. And by the time I'm done, dessert should be out. Sure, I'll clean up your plate. Hey, where are you going? That goes out to the arena! Finally! 
You all have a champion you can be proud of. And now that I've climbed this mountain, I plan on enjoying the view for a very, very long time. In fact, our GM, Randy Orton, might not like me saying this, but I'm the champ now, so who cares? The next decade of Monday Night Raw is going to be very monotonous because there will be no universal title changes. For the next 500 episodes, this is all you will see. Me in this ring holding this championship. Guys, are you seeing this? Unfortunately, yes. I'm not sure why Trey from NXT is here, but let's focus on our champion. Not the reaction I was expecting, but for those of you who find this upsetting, I'm sure there are other so-called championship matches you can watch where the titles will change hands frequently, but not mine. Okay, this guy's officially insane. Security, do your jobs. Are you kidding me? Uh, I saw him visiting backstage, but I guess he had other plans. Are you lost? You know this is an NXT, right? Let him in the ring. It's cool. Come on, Joe, you're giving him what he wants. This guy craves the spotlight. You mind telling me what you're doing out here? I think we'd all like to know. I got some really good advice from my friend Red. She's kind of new to Raw, but I'm sure you know who she is, right? Super talented. Bit of a temper sometimes, but you can relate. Anyway, she said I should go around and introduce myself, and I figured, why not start with the Universal Champion himself? So I'm Trey. Pleasure to meet you. I'm not sure this is going to end well for Trey. Do you think I'm some kind of joke? No, no, not at all. Shut your mouth before I break your arm. I didn't plan on competing tonight, but after your little interruption, I guess I'm going to have to start my decade of dominance one week early. I wasn't planning on competing tonight either. I actually just ate a ton of food at catering and my stomach's killing me. You mind if we postpone until next week? I'm afraid that is not an option. Okay, fine. But if I'm doing this, your, your title's on the line, right? <laughs> sure. I didn't get to properly introduce myself. I'm Samoa Joe. The man who's going to choke the life out of you. We have an impromptu Universal Championship match coming up next. I think it's going to be more of a slaughter than a match. I'm afraid you're right, Corey. We've seen Trey do some great things in NXT, but I don't think he's ready for this kind of challenge, especially with no time to prepare. Yeah, well, it's too late now. This is happening, and I can't wait. I don't think this is going to last very long. Unfortunately, I have to agree. Yeah. Yeah. Samoa Joe locks in the Coquina Clutch. Told you it wasn't going to last very long. Wait a second. Trey counters. Joe's shoulders are down on the mat. He did it. We win the Universal Champion. Trey just pulled off one of the biggest upsets in yet. WWE history. Well, I guess I was still right about it not lasting long, but this is unbelievable. All hell is broken loose on Raw, and we have a NXT superstar who just won the Universal Championship. This is unprecedented. What happens next? Other than Trey running for his life, I have no idea. Wait! Can't slow down. Joe's gonna kill me. Shouldn't have eaten all that food. What the hell did you just do? I took your advice and it worked. I'm Universal Champion! I meant you should talk to someone like the GM to try and get a call up. Not interrupt Samoa Joe. I, I mean, congrats. Your crazy way of doing things worked yet again. But now what? I haven't thought that far ahead. I'm just enjoying the moment. Also, I might throw up. <sighs> also, you're my ride. Sorry! If you find your friend before I do, you tell him this is far from over. The following comes. 
contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, Ace Thunder. Here we go, and it sounds to me like the crowd is more than ready for this one. So am I, Michael. I've been looking forward to this match for a long, long time. surviving an encounter with a great white only to get thrown into a river of piranhas. Good luck with that, Red. Oh, nice deep arm drag. Producing a trampling. She seemed to have gained the advantage here. She's looking good now. We'll see if it lasts. Rousey able to counter beautifully. There's no taller order in WWE than attempting to defeat the baddest woman on the planet. Byron, how can any woman gain a victory over Ronda Rousey? Well, obviously, training is the utmost importance as Ronda approaches every fight with a lot of preparation. But here's the thing. Ronda has been training her whole life. How do you overcome that? To the outside, which will start the referee's count. And again, yet another counter. Bringing it back into the ring. We talked about strategy going into a match with Ronda Rousey. Byron says it's almost impossible. Corey, would you agree? Yeah, the only strategy I'd employ is depending on luck. Rousey's MMA losses came when she was surprised by a miracle strike. So any competitor has to hope they hit that lucky shot too. Oh, and a kick right to the hamstring. Oh, it's punishing the right arm. Ronda Rousey connected with a good shot there. Wow, she turned that one around. Suplex! Harsh impact. coming her way now. She can withstand the punishment, though. something big. Hold on, what is Samoa Joe doing out here? Did you find your friend yet? Huh? Where is he? Answer me. I don't know where he went. This is not my problem. Here comes Ronda from behind. Piper's hit. And that'll do it. Ronda Rousey has qualified for the Money in the Bank ladder match, albeit under somewhat controversial circumstances. Controversial. Red should have stayed focused on her opponent. That's on her. Well, it appears Ronda Rousey is also somewhat frustrated with how things went down. Hey, a win's a win. And if Trey hadn't run away like a coward, this never would have happened. Maybe Red needs to have a talk with her best friend.
Hey, there's like a hundred other benches in this mall. Go find one. Psst. Look. Seriously, I will not hesitate to punch you in the junk. Trey? Yeah, it's me, but keep it down. I'm indiscreto. I think you mean incognito? Whatever, I just don't want Samoa Joe to find me. I'm pretty sure he's not here. Good. But just in case, look off into the distance when you're talking to me. I tried calling you all week, but your phone went straight to voicemail. That's because I smashed it. I'm also wearing different deodorant to throw Samoa Joe off my trail. Can't be too cautious. And I don't know if you heard, but Joe ended up costing me my money in the bank qualifying match. You poked the bear and then ran away leaving me to deal with him. I'm sorry, and I'll make it up to you somehow, but don't get hot because I'm the Universal Champion. That's not what this is about. Are you sure you're not a tiny bit jealous I won a title in WWE before you when you're supposed to be the in-ring star? And I did it when I wasn't even an official member of the roster. I mean this in the nicest way. But you got lucky. I reversed a coquina clutch into a pin. That's not luck. I'm the one who taught you that when we were training in Calgary. Fine. Then I guess this is yours. Take it. Stop. One of the reasons I was trying to get a hold of you is Randy Orton wants to give you a short-term Raw contract. So congrats, you got what you wanted, at least as long as you're champion. Yes! I mean, yes! Don't get too excited. Orton also wanted me to let you know you're defending your title on Monday. Hmm. Let me guess, against Samoa Joe? No. He's mad at Joe for letting this turn into the single worst thing to ever happen in WWE. His words. So instead, you're going to face Brock Lesnar. Cool. You sure you don't want this? Sorry, you got yourself into this. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is for the WWE Universal Championship. Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. Introducing the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! And introducing the champion, weighing in at 247 pounds, he is the WWE Universal Champion, Ace. Winning the Universal title makes you the guy in WWE. Between interrupting and defeating Samoa Joe and essentially going into hiding before being awarded a temporary Raw contract, it's certainly been a roller coaster of a week for our Universal Champion Trey. Our GM wants that roller coaster ride to come to a screeching halt. So much so that he convinced Brock Lesnar to compete in a non pay per view match for the first time in years. It doesn't take a genius to predict that this will be the first and last time Trey defends the Universal Championship. Hey, no one thought he'd be in this position tonight, but he somehow pulled that off. Never say never. Never. Big time neck breaker, turning the momentum to his favor. Not sure how long this will last, but he's fired up right now. 
Not where you want to be at this point in the match, guys. Definitely not. Bulldog! Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Boom! Before the fist drops on your face. Oof! Brock Lesnar with a nice reversal. Right, here we go. Inverted DDT! Fight. Straight for Samoa Joe. Joe's unloading on Brock with that baseball bat. Wait, the, the bell just rang. I, I think the referee disqualified Trey for Samoa Joe attacking Brock. Trey still retains the Universal Championship. That's my Universal title, and I'm going to take it back. Not anyone else. So, Randy Orton, until you give me my rematch, get used to this happening over and over again.